Welcome to this week's special edition of COVID-19 Update Show on DCTV 23. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, special guest I'm proud to have. She's been with us before. We're happy that she's able to have time for us again to help update the citizens of Douglas County. A welcome, Dr. Janet Meemark of the Cobb and Douglas Public Health Department. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me, Rick. Really appreciate being here. Oh, it's absolutely our honor. You know, I want to get right to it. Um, can you tell us, please, what can you tell me about the COVID-19 numbers in Douglas County? Okay. For As of today, um, you all might, might be watching the numbers that we have about 1,545 cases and there are 40 deaths right now in, in um, Douglas County. Um, things that are important right now that I wanted everybody to know, though, is that, you know, those numbers have been rising and just continue to rise. And so we're not really seeing any slowing down of, of the cases. Um, but with those numbers, we're seeing record high visits to the emergency room that are associated with COVID-19, as well as hospitalizations. Um, the ventilator use is okay. You know, they're holding steady, but they're, they're tight on beds for um, critical care as as well as general medicine. So we're definitely seeing an, a, a pretty big surge right now. Gotcha. And that information is as of Thursday, July 16th, for folks who may be watching us as well online at a later time. With the surge in people uh, wanting to get tested, are there delays getting an appointment at the Douglas Public Health Center specifically? Yeah, you know, this is kind of a nationwide issue, but we are seeing delays right now. And so um, it looks like it's at least 10 days out. And on top of that, there are some um, result delays that are nationwide. Ours seem, seem to be about four to six days to get the results back, but I'm hearing as much as six to eight days for results throughout the, the metro area. Should anyone that wants a test get one, especially if they're not showing symptoms? Yeah, so that's a great question because um, you know, definitely anybody can get a test, but because the demand is so high right now, we're asking um, our citizens to help us to go ahead and get the people tested that we need to get tested right now. So definitely people with symptoms and, and remember those high risk um, people that we had previously, the medically fragile or those with chronic diseases or elderly, but also our first responders and healthcare workers, if we can um, you know, allow them to get tested. Um, the we've, we're seeing a lot of people that are um, getting tested and it's kind of like inappropriate times to get tested. And so we wanted to talk about that a little bit. I know because cases are rising, everybody will know somebody that is a contact to a case or a contact themselves. If I find out today that somebody, a loved one is positive, it doesn't help me to go get a test today. We ask that you wait at least 10 days or until you become symptomatic symptomatic because the virus needs time to incubate. You're going to get kind of a false sense of security if you get the test right away and it comes back negative. And you are not released from quarantine. If you are a close contact, you will be in, in quarantine for at least 14 days. And if you become positive, that's a new isolation procedure. You're going to have to stay home for another protocol. That's really good information. So, you know, just, you know, if I'm hearing correctly, um, if you feel you've been exposed to the virus mm -hmm. and you're not showing any immediate symptoms, wait about 10 days, you're saying? Yes, before you, you want to get a test. Okay, super. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, you may have mentioned it before, but you know, with receiving all the information, in terms of results, how long does it take to get results? Yeah, so the results are, we, we were getting them in two to three days. It's a little bit of a lag now. We're seeing about four to six days. But the state of Georgia is working on different um, companies to help us process more um, labs. We're doing more than we have ever done before, and it is just stretching the labs nationwide. But um, they are looking for to add on even more options for us. And, you know, it's funny you mentioned that, um, and Douglas County is not the only one experiencing a rise in the amount of people getting tested. Isn't that true? Oh. Along the whole Atlanta metro area. Absolutely. And in the nation, if you look, I don't remember the number of states, but there are many states, you know, including our neighbors, Florida, that are having very high cases right now. 
Gotcha, gotcha. You mentioned testing outreach on a previous show of yeah. ours. How's that going? It's going really well. I think we've already done at least 30 places that are at least scheduled or have been done um, in different church areas and things like that. But, you know, because of our uh, um, we have only one location that we can test in Douglas, we are continuing to do outreach in different areas um, with the outreach team from Wellstar and Metro Ambulance. So they'll go out and do some testing. But we are also contracting with another provider to do mobile pop up units. And you should be hearing about that when we do our next um, um, catch up talk. I hopefully I'll have some uh, more information where people can go and get tested and it, it will change locations based on like where we're seeing need and things like that. But we're really excited because that will increase our testing capabilities by a whole lot. Wow, that's good to hear. Good to hear. Thanks for sharing that. I've heard a lot lately about the test based strategy versus time based strategy. Yeah. What can you tell me about this? So, um, you know, the CDC has these guidelines. It's a test-based versus the time-based strategy. And so if you become positive on a test, um, there is a, a test-based strategy that makes you get two negative tests before returning back to society. That is, yes, it's there, but it is very impractical. And your test result can be positive for greater than six weeks without you being symptomatic or contagious. And so um, we are asking people to, to not do or require people to get that because there aren't enough tests available. So we can't get people back into work or whatever they need to do. So we're asking people to do the time-based strategy. And so basically, if you have symptoms, you have to wait at least three days after your recovery and, and no fevers without any medication. And you have to have improvement of your symptoms and like cough or shortness of breath and at least 10 days. So I know that's complicated, but has to be at least 10 days and three days um, plus three days of resolution of symptoms. If you have no symptoms at all during the whole thing, you just became one of those asymptomatic positives, then you have to wait at least 10 days from that first um, that test result. But that test that K, the test base can put you out of commission for you know two months maybe. And, and it's not, and you might not even be able to get a test. So we recommend it is a CDC guideline to do all the time-based strategy. Time-based strategy, yep. time-based strategy, super. Is there anything else, Dr. Me, Mark, you wanna remind the people, the citizens of Douglas County? Yeah, so I know I end on this every single time, but this is a critical time. We have a high number of cases that are going on right now, and I ask everybody, please continue to social distance and wear those masks. Um, it is one of the most effective things that we have. It is official CDC recommendation now, but oh, man, that's all we have. If we want to get back to normal, we got to slow this down. So please help us slow down this transmission through our communities. And thank you for everybody that's helped. Super, super. So washing, washing your hands, social distancing, uh, six feet apart, and yeah. wearing your mask over your nose and mouth, right? Yeah. And stay home when you're sick. You're absolutely right. Dr. Meemark, I can't thank you enough. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking the time. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody.